My name is Jay Behan, and I'm a professor of sociology, and I'm chair of the Department of Sociology, Anthropology, Social Work, and now Criminal Justice. My name is Amanda Burgess Proctor, and I'm an assistant professor here um, at Oakland University. Well, I think there are many. First of all, um, we're offering a criminal justice major here at Oakland for the first time, which is really exciting. Uh, previously, students uh, could get another degree and have a criminal justice concentration, but now they'll be able to have a four-year criminal justice major, um, which uh, makes students more marketable. And there are other universities who offer criminal justice majors, and we've tried to distinguish ourselves from those other majors by essentially being more interdisciplinary, uh, requiring a capstone for students, and also requiring an internship. At the end of the program, we expect our students to be able to not just only understand the sort of job that they might be taking in the criminal justice field, we are hoping that they will be prepared to be the leaders in their field. The criminal justice major at Oakland offers six specialization areas. That's courts, uh, law enforcement, corrections and treatment, and juvenile justice. And then uh, we offer two more niche specializations. Um, one is information security and assurance, and the other is homeland security. Those two specialization areas are not commonly offered at other criminal justice programs and make the major here at Oakland really unique. Our internships are going to, again, build upon some of those relationships that we've had in the local system, but those opportunities are going to expand greatly, in large part because we have a full-time internship coordinator who will liaison with our different agencies at the federal, state, and local level. And this person will also provide support services to students in the form of advising, career advice, and the like. I think for a long time there's been a stereotype that criminal justice is for people who want to be police officers and the, that was true maybe 30 years ago but certainly the field has grown by leaps and bounds over the last couple of decades so anybody interested uh, whether it's from law enforcement to corrections, prisons, uh, working with prisoner reentry, treatment uh, coordination, working with juveniles, working with victim services, there's a wide range of career opportunities available to students with a criminal justice degree. Oakland University generally uh, draws approximately one-third of its students from Macomb County. We have historically served Macomb County. Many of the students that I've seen over my 25 years have come in, in the criminal justice concentration, come from Macomb County. And so the opportunity to go to the AFC is one that we welcomed. The location is ideal in the sense that it's right across the street from the courthouse and many of the other social service agencies where we can place our interns. And so we also see ourselves as not only helping to educate, uh, provide education for residents of Macomb County in this area, but also to give back to that county through the internship process. This fall, Judge Matt Swatowski is going to be teaching our course in juvenile justice and delinquency. Judge Swatowski has had experience in this area. He sat on the bench uh, dealing with many uh, juvenile cases and, and in the family court, dealing with the complexities of delinquency, which also includes abuse and neglect. Again, people oftentimes think of you know, criminals and not understanding some of these other aspects to you know, uh, what leads people to criminal behaviors. So Oakland University criminal justice students will be well prepared. Uh, the program that we have uh, put together is rigorous and intensive. They'll have a strong theoretical background, a strong research background, and also a strong background in policy, which will prepare them well for their career fields.